Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. This is Victoria at Radiant Moon Tarot and this is your daily reading for Wednesday, September 8th, 2021. If you're new to my channel, welcome in. If you're returning, welcome back. I'm truly grateful for each and every one of you. Just a reminder, the dailies are not tied to zodiac signs and they are general readings, so not everything will resonate. Just take what does, leave the rest behind. Let's see what we've got coming out for you guys for the day ahead. Messages please for people watching for the day. Whoa, ahead. Thank you very much. We'll just take that one. So what do we have coming out here? Oh, look at that. We have the black cat there with good luck. And we also have your spirit guide. How is that for a little bit of wonderful energy? All right. So your spirit guides are absolutely with you. Maybe they're even trying to give you a little bit of a message today. Be, pay very, very close to your uh, intuition. Pay very close to any kind of repeating numbers or anything that you see. Uh, even um, animals or insects in places where they don't necessarily belong. Something that, uh, something that makes you stop in your tracks and go, oh, that's weird. Those are the kind of things to watch out for today. All right. Uh, things like... Um, Feathers is actually a really good one and uh, not a bunch of feathers underneath where birds hang out. Okay, we're talking about something in a weird spot. Again, that's something that's that's something that makes you go, hmm. Okay, so your spirit guides really are uh, with you, protecting you, and they always are, but they've got messages for you today. So pay close attention to your dreams as well. And then we have what is probably my favorite card in this deck. All right, not just because I like cats, but we've got the good luck card coming in here today. All right, so this is really that energy of, you know, of course, luck is on your side. That's a little bit obvious. Um, but this is a day when things just go your way. Um, you know, even if there's a problem or a challenge that pops up, you will deal with it like a boss. And you will deal with it like, you know what, I got this. All right. This is also an indicator that your luck is changing um, at, for the absolute positive. And if you look at this, we've got this black cat. We've got butterflies of transformation up there. And we also have a pot of gold. All right. And, you know, of course, these energies do last for more than a day. Um, so, you know, it's uh, certainly a brand new cycle that is coming in. And it likely got kicked off with that new moon in Virgo from the 6th of September, right? Very lucky new moon. And we are still in that energy of the new moon. The, the moon energy lasts for a couple of days before and after. And so with that being on the 6th, which was really accumulated the morning of the 7th, depending on where you are, we're still in that energy. So tap into it. You have a project to start. Now is the time. You got something to wrap up. Now is the time. New job that you're looking for, now is the time. New love, now is the time, okay? Basically, get started, wrap things up, and uh, it's a very, very, very positive, wonderful energy. So let's pull your tarot and let's see what we've got for the day. Messages for people watching, please. Messages for the day ahead, please. And it feels like with the spirit guide coming out here with the good luck card, you are being very much guided towards something that is very positive for you. It could be a situation, a person, uh, it could be some it could be something as seemingly mundane as some information. So pay the close attention. I like that combination. So we've got the seven of cups. Okay. We have the Seven of Wands, the Nine of Cups, whoa, and we have the Moon, wow, what did we say? May very well be attached to that Moon. So if you uh, have set intentions, okay, with that, like manifestation intentions, if you've done goal setting at all, because uh, this new Moon was the greatest time to take practical action to uh, write out a to-do list, write down your goals, no matter how big, no matter how small, even if they're personal goals, self-improvement, whatever it happened to be for you. All right. This is really spirit saying the nine of cups is advice from spirit and your outcome energy is the moon. Nine of cups is of course, wish fulfillment. 
So Spirit's giving you the advice that your wishes are being fulfilled and the moon energy here is bringing all that um, that new moon energy really to light. So since we are still in the energy of the new moon, if you have, <clears throat> excuse me, if you have not done any kind of intention setting, goal setting, anything like that, then today is your day that you might want to you might want to do that, okay? <clears throat> so even if you don't, not everyone, not everyone is, that's not everyone's uh, cup of tea. Even if you don't, the luck is still around you anyway, okay? It's just that it's amplified when you write things down or you say things out loud. Your current situation, we've got the Seven of Cups. A lot of people are really thinking about the future, thinking about where they are. And the Seven of Cups sometimes comes out as a little bit of a daydreaming card, um, it is one of having a lot of options, having a lot of things going around you. Uh, think of it like, you know, if, if these cups, uh, say you had a whole bunch of things in front of you, right? And you're not entirely sure what you want and you can't really attach your feelings. It's like you got all these offers or all these things coming in and you're just not necessarily feeling it. <clears throat> it's like, which one makes you feel good? Which one makes you feel happy? Which one makes you feel like you can attain it? And sometimes when that's all wrapped up in our head, it's really hard to make that decision. We do tend to overthink things when the Seven of Cups comes out. It is a little bit more of a fantasy card sometimes. And we tend to sometimes overthink something, overanalyze something. And we tend to sometimes get stuck in this energy. So some of you just have some options. You've got some things to choose from today. All right. And you're like, huh, what, what do I do? Where do I go? What do I move forward with? All right. Others of you, you may be stuck in this for quite a while. So when we have the seven of cups, this is really about uh, making that decision. And sometimes we get wrapped up because we're afraid to make a choice. We're afraid to make a change. We're afraid to do something um, because we're worried that what if it comes and bites us in the butt later on, right? What if the cup that I choose has this poisonous snake coming out of it, but by the same token, what if the cup I choose has this cup of riches coming out of it? What if I have a victory wreath, right? All of these things. So when we have the seven of cups, follow your heart. Follow your intuition and you will not go wrong. Even if something goes sideways, it is still a learning experience and it is still something that you're probably never going to repeat later on, right? Some of the greatest minds in history, the greatest invent inventors in history have certainly not achieved greatness the first time out. And the first time someone electrocuted themselves, um, you know, uh, they learned not to touch metal unless you're grounded, right? That kind of thing. So, uh, and then they don't repeat it. And then the next mistake that they make, right? And you know, some, sometimes those ones are a little bit painful. Um, you know, especially if you're a scientist and you got gadgets and stuff like that, if you've never had quite the shock from an electrical outlet, believe you me, it hurts. So, um, you know, but you learn not to do certain things again. And that's what that seven of cups is all about. Some of you with the seven of cups as well, you might be thinking of making some personal changes as well, some improvements in your life. But the energy coming towards you today is the Seven of Wands. So you might actually have to stand up for yourself today. Um, at some point, it could be in your office, it could be at your home, because quite often the Seven of Wands is an energy of standing your ground, standing up for yourself, right? You've got a whole bunch of people, a whole bunch of naysayers, if you will, all right, just kind of standing there, kind of prodding you a little bit, and you're like, no. So it could be that if you've got some choices to make today, that you are really determined to make these choices on your own. You don't need anyone else's input. It's like, you know what? Thanks for the help. I really appreciate it. However, I need to figure this out on my own. It could be a project at work. It could be something in your personal life, whatever that happens to be. Okay. So it's kind of like fending off the naysayers. This is also the energy of facing your day and facing your challenges head on. All right. Not letting anything kind of, um, you're not ignoring anything today, right? And again, this person here is facing all of those obstacles and challenges head on, but ultimately is rising above them because the seven of wands is an indicator that you're certainly at your personal best. So 
you have a lot of great energy that is coming in today. And the interesting thing is uh, the sevens are actually a very spiritual number. Now, some of you, seven might actually be your lucky number, okay? But seven is a, a, sevens are a sign that you're in alignment with your spiritual purpose. It's the number of spirit. And what do we have coming out here? Spirit guide. And when we have the sevens, all right, this is opportunities align with divine purpose and open up to you. And what is the seven of cups? Opportunities. So this is really your time to <clears throat> achieve your goals, take some steps to um, make improvements, maybe choose a different path, maybe overcome your obstacles, maybe to stand up for yourself in some way, maybe to figure out what you believe in. And this is certainly the day to believe in yourself. So really wonderful energy. Your advice from spirit is the nine of cups. And of course, wish fulfillment, attainment of your goals. Okay, so again, right, this is all by your own action. So if you're determined to figure something out for yourself, spirit says, yes, absolutely. This is your day. Okay, if you are doing any kind of manifestation, Spirit again says, yes, this is your day. So whatever you've got going on, okay, this could be a daily energy with the Nine of Cups. Believe in yourself, all right, and then you can achieve what it is you set out to achieve. And the Nine of Cups is sometimes a deceiving card, right? Because we think, oh, okay, well, wish fulfillment, it's wonderful, and we're just going to be showered with blessings and all of these things, and I don't have to work for it. Right. And I'll just all of a sudden get my wishes coming true. And, you know, I don't need to put myself out there. I don't need to do anything. And it's actually a little bit deceiving because that's actually not true. Because what is hidden behind this table, all these cups are up on this table, right? This guy looks pretty pleased with himself. He's like, yes, I did it. I'm so happy with myself. I'm really content. I'm just going to sit here and I'm going to bask in my own glory of accomplishing what I set out to accomplish. And it looks all peaceful and it looks all wonderful. However, what it deceives though is that underneath this table, hidden behind this curtain, is cups one through eight. The newness, the partnerships, the losses, the walking away from things, all of those, the seven, right? Be the confusion, all of those things. And that is what that hides. So to others, right? Sometimes maybe things look like they come easy to you, but what's hidden is all of those ups and downs, those failures, those, um, you know, the, the little aha moments and then the disappointments and then the recuperation and all of those things. So spirit wants to remind you that sometimes in your attainment of your goals and dreams, you've got everything on your side right now to make your wishes, your goals come true. But don't forget that sometimes along that journey, there is a few ups and downs along the way. So ultimately, everything you want is fully attainable. Sometimes it takes a little bit of time and energy to accomplish it. Sometimes things happen all at once. Yes, they do. But more often than not, we take an opportunity. We run with it. We sometimes take four steps forward and then a step back. Sometimes it's two steps forward and then a step back right? And, but ultimately that is what makes that wish attainment so incredibly fulfilling. So if you're right knocking at your doorstep, especially with the two sevens right here, I feel some of you are very much, um, very close to accomplishing something that you've been working really hard on. All right. And if you are setting intentions with the nine of cups energy here, think big. Okay. Really think big. All of this energy is very much on your side. And we come out with the moon energy. So working with the moon for sure. Okay, so some of you really are just like, hmm, you know what? Maybe now is a good time to set some intentions. But the moon actually is where you uh, really do a little bit of a deep dive to think about what's important for you to really tap into your emotional side as well. Um, you know, because of course, especially since we start out with the seven of cups here and the moon is all about your subconscious bringing things to light. All right. And something that maybe you had not thought of before, um, maybe something that through the introspection that comes in with the seven of cups through taking a little bit of a time to think about what's important to you 
you know, or to take a more creative approach to overcoming obstacles and challenges. The moon card is where things come to the surface. Maybe today, throughout the day, you're discovering aspects of yourself that you didn't know, right? Especially with the seven of wands, you're like, oh, I can do it. Oh my goodness, right? And sometimes when we do, when we do, um, accomplish something for ourselves or we take strides to accomplish something for ourselves, we do discover facets of ourselves that we didn't know existed. The moon is also Pisces energy. <clears throat> so when we have the moon card, some a, a lot of times things that come to the surface is we see the truth behind something because the seven of cups can be a card of fantasy, right? Daydreaming. The moon also sometimes is a little bit of an illusion, something that we've been either just fantasizing about and never taking action to put into reality. Sometimes we delude ourselves and we see a situation and we don't want to see the truth of something. We pretend everything is honky-dory. And then when we see... Uh, see things we these see things for exactly as they are that causes us sometimes to face reality right and sometimes we keep certain things buried so it could be a dream that you're resurrecting okay something that you've always wanted to do this could be part of yourself all right your shadow self that you know you dig in deep um, to resolve a conflict a problem or to maybe even um, you know find that oomph that you need to get something done that creative edge uh, the moon with some of you may actually have, be a little bit emotional right now, especially if you, um, uh, if, especially if the moon really does affect you in some way. All right. So today just might be, uh, today might be the day to kind of just stand your ground on something and not necessarily take a lot of steps forward, especially if you're feeling a little bit, uh, discombobulated in your emotional body with the moon card. Okay. But when we've got the moon, it quite often our fears, our worries, our doubts come to the surface. And that moon is bringing those all up where you can see them and giving you the opportunity to face your fears. <clears throat> Especially if you're trying to make a choice there with that seven of cups and you're determined to make that choice, whatever it is, on your own or figure out a problem on your own. Sometimes you need to do what scares you in order to find your happiness, your contentment, or to complete your goals. So interesting energy. I'm going to leave that there, okay, because, um, yeah, because it's really good energy. So pay attention to repeating numbers. Of course, we do have those two sevens coming out, so number 77. The moon card is number 18, okay, um, moon card is number 18, and what does 18, 1 and 8 reduces to a 9, so we actually have number 99 coming out there for you as well. So, 7799, look up the spiritual meaning and the angel meaning of both of those numbers, and there will be additional messages in there for you guys, okay? But remember, luck is on your side, all right, and it just feels like a really positive day, whether you are getting something done today that you've been struggling with for a while, or whether you are really tapping into that moon energy and uh, setting some intentions and some goals. So I'm quickly going to get, uh, considering, <clears throat> excuse me, considering the moon, the nine of cups, the good luck, the spirit guide, uh, I'm going to get you a couple of making magic cards. So what these are, these are magical symbols, okay? And the ones that come out usually do tell quite the interesting story. So I'm going to hold them up to the camera. I rest my hand on my coffee cup so hopefully you can see them. And uh, hopefully they focus in for you. And you can take a screenshot if you want. Thank you very much. And uh, keep it on your phone. So last message for people watching, please. This one, one more. This one that came flying out. Ah, there we go. That's the one that came flying out. And that is the uh, power symbol or the magical symbol for successful career. A happy working environment, pay raises and promotions. Who doesn't want that? So take that screenshot. Keep that on that on that phone of yours. All right. What else do we have? We have the tree of life, time or sorry, true wisdom and making good choices in life. 
And last but not least, oh wow, uh, spirit. Okay, heavenly assistance from your angels and guides. All right, so hopefully that, anyway, the symbol will show up for you. Wow. Okay, some crazy energy today. So I'm going to leave that there for you guys. I hope there was something in this reading that resonated with you. If there was, please don't forget to like and subscribe. I hope you have a great day. Okay, tap into this energy. It's fantastic. All right, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.